Virgin Atlantic, from plucky startup airline founded by Richard Branson to transatlantic carrier backed by one of the world's biggest airlines, Delta. Their loyalty program, Flying Club, is now one of the most interesting available to viewers in the UK and beyond. In March 2023, Virgin Atlantic joined the Sky Team Alliance, which I felt warranted an in-depth video on their program, its benefits, and how to get the most from it. Here's a lowdown on the scheme. Virgin Atlantic Flying Club is the airline's loyalty program. Flying Club is very similar to British Airways Executive Club, allowing members to earn and redeem points from their air and non-travel related activities, as well as earn status from flying. When flying, you earn two types of points. The first is Virgin Points, effectively the miles currency of Virgin Atlantic, and these are for you to spend on flights with the airline and its partners or other alternatives. The second one you earn is Tier Points, which is exactly the same as the British Airways concept of Tier Points. These are accumulated on an annual basis by members to reach certain status levels within the Frequent Flyer program. All members start their journey on the Red Status Tier, which just entitles you to be able to start your journey of collecting both Virgin Points and Tier Points. The second tier is Silver, which has some minor benefits including 30% extra Virgin Points for flights taken, one piece of extra checks luggage, premium check-in and free seat assignment when you get an economy light fare. Silver maps across to Sky Team Elite status, which offers very similar to Executive Club Bronze or One World Ruby. The highest tier in the program is Gold. In this tier, members get priority check-in at upper class desks, priority boarding, one extra piece of luggage, and most importantly, access to the Virgin Clubhouse at London Heathrow, um, across their network of course, as well as access to Sky Team partner business lounges, owing to it mapping across to Sky Team Elite Plus. While it is their top tier status, uh, in my view, it is very much closer to BA Silver or One World Sapphire than BA Gold, simply because of the lack of access to first class lounges. Virgin Atlantic is also rather unique in that you could earn all of your Virgin points and tier points without flying on Virgin itself. Contrasting with British Airways, you do not need a qualifying number of Virgin flights each year to attain status, which is very flexible considering the number of partners and plethora of airlines in the Alliance and outside you could earn those points with. The Virgin Atlantic is certainly not in a monogamous relationship with Sky Team, and they have a true plethora of partners, which makes it a really interesting frequent flyer program. As part of Sky Team, you get mutual frequent flyer benefits on all member airlines, as well as the ability to redeem points on those partners. I'll go down how you can redeem those points a bit later, because it's not really that easy at the moment. And here is all the Sky Team members you get access to, from their 49% owner Delta, to transatlantic joint venture partner Air France KLM, through to less well-known partners such as Taron. It's quite an interesting bunch. And outside of Sky Team, it does get even more intriguing in terms of the partners. Starting with the most useful, in my view. The first are Singapore Airlines, Air New Zealand and Virgin Australia, who I would consider full fat partners of Virgin Atlantic. What do I mean by this? Well, you can both earn miles and tier points and redeem those miles with all three airlines, as well as get recognition for your flying club status. If you're gold in Virgin Atlantic, you could get access to Chris Flyer, Air New Zealand or Virgin Australia lounges when flying with them airlines, or book a award flights with them with some restrictions. The second tier is where you can earn or spend Virgin points as well as attain tier points but get no recognition of status. These include the famed Excellent Value Redemptions on All Nippon Airways or ANA, Hawaiian Airlines or South African Airways. Next, we go on to LATAM from South America, where you can earn Virgin Points and Tier Points, but you cannot redeem. Next, we have SAS or Scandinavian Airlines, where you can only earn Virgin Points. And finally, we have Indigo, the low-cost carrier from India, where you can earn a flat rate of 700 Virgin Points, which, strangely, Virgin Atlantic describe as a whopping amount, as well as 10 Tier Points per connecting Indigo-operated flight. 
This wouldn't include if you booked a non-connecting standard point-to-point -point Indigo flight within India. That's a really interesting bunch of partners. And here's where the juicy part of the video starts. How to find award space with all of these partners and then redeem them. I'm mostly going to be focusing on Virgin itself, the SkyTeam partners, as well as Virgin Australia, and finally the Star Alliance aligned partners, Singapore Airlines, ANA, South African, Air New Zealand, and then finally, Hawaiian. Let's start with Virgin Atlantic and Delta. Rather simply, let's head to virginatlantic.com and search away. The airline guarantees a minimum of 12 award seats for flying club members on Virgin Atlantic flights for every single flight as soon as they're on sale, which is about 330 days before departure. This includes eight seats in economy, two in premium and two in upper or business class. So you need to get in there quickly if you want to secure your availability. And that is the minimum. So they may in future release more seats. It just depends um, how the load factors go closer to the time. It's worth noting that if you can't find an award seat on Virgin Atlantic website for Virgin flights, it probably doesn't exist, unfortunately. Uh, so I wouldn't bother contacting the call center to see if there is something available. It's rather simple. Plug in your origin and destination, whether it's one way or return, your date and number of passengers. Down here, you can change between money, which is the default, points, and we will ignore points plus money because it's a rather low value way to do your flights. So let's go ahead and search. And we can see lots of availability, probably because it's the middle of January. And yeah, as suspected, 10,000 Virgin points plus 220 pound. Not great value, uh, in, in my opinion, um, although uh, particularly on the taxes side, but you have the option there if you want to save a bit of money. Um, economy, I probably wouldn't bother with the taxes being so high. Uh, perhaps in upper class, you could justify 47,500 points. And we can see the availability, availability throughout the whole day. So one nifty feature worth noting for gold members of Flying Club is the ability to book any seat regardless of availability for double the number of Virgin points. These can be booked not through the website, but by contacting the Virgin Atlantic Flying Club Gold helpline, which can be found in your account settings. Uh, whether it's good value will be entirely down to your situation. It could be a case of you're going at peak season uh, where cash costs are really high, or you're going at a, a time of year when just redemption availability is super low. My advice, always check on the website for normal re redemptions, first of all, before proceeding with trying to book for double points on the Virgin Atlantic contact center. Now is where Flying Club gets a lot more interesting. This section, I'll explain how to search for the award seats for all partners, and then I'll later go on how to book at the end because it's quite a, very similar. Delta flights can also be booked through the Virgin Atlantic website, as we can see here, an example of an economy flight from Gatwick to JFK. Uh, the number of points, 15K, which is about 5,000 more for economy, a lot lower uh, taxes than Virgin. So down to you whether you want to do that. The one thing worth noting is that premium seats and upper or business class seats are like gold dust on Delta very difficult to find uh, with partner airlines such as Virgin or even through other partners in SkyTeam. And you cannot do things like pay double points for Delta flights, nor do they guarantee a certain number of seats for partner airlines. So quite difficult to find Delta services. Now let's go on to SkyTeam excluding Delta and Virgin. According to the press release, you would be able to find a number of award space on Virgin Atlantic's website for SkyTeam partners, including China Airlines of Taiwan, Korean, Middle East Airlines, and Xiamen Air of the People's Republic of China. Technically, Air France and KLM have been available on the website since I believe very early in 2020, and all others can be done by contacting the call center besides ETA Airways, which is some reincarnation of Alitalia, which is coming later in 2023. And 
that's not actually available to any Sky Team partners at the moment, and China Eastern by July 2023. Despite the claim of some partners working on the website, I have struggled to get it to work in my own experience. The system is nigh on impossible to return awards or process an award transaction. I'll show you an example here. Let's go from Taipei to London because this is actually a route I wanted to book a ticket for recently. This one, and I know there is availability. The Virgin website just fails. This will happen a lot on many partners, KLM, China Airlines. The technology just isn't there yet, and it's quite frustrating. Here's my tip if you are looking for any SkyTeam partner, Bar, Air France, and KLM, is to use the KLM website. Now, that seems a bit counterintuitive, but there is a reason behind it. And if you're looking for Air France or KLM flights, use Delta's website. Why this strange logic? If you use KLM's website to check for KLM award seats, you will almost always find availability, but that availability is often not available for partner airlines such as Virgin Atlantic. And the same goes for Air France on both Air France and KLM's website and Delta on Delta's website. The reason for this is because the airlines only release a limited amount of award seats to partner airlines at their cheapest award level. In, in some airlines they call this saver level, but effectively anything above that is not available to other airlines. But beyond that, they keep additional award seats available at a super high award price for their own members. I'm going to do an example for China Airlines, which we will look at through KLM's website. Now I could use KLM at Air France, they're more or less the same, but we are just looking to see if we can find availability on the route between Taipei and Heathrow on my date. So let's go ahead and search. And there we go, we can see a flight 14 hours, which I guess is due to the closure of airspace in Siberia. Taipei to London Heathrow, get more flight details. And we can see the number of seats available. Ignore whatever the price is here for the uh, miles, that's only relevant to KLM. But what we can guarantee is that we can get a seat on that flight because it's available on their website. It is worth noting that in SkyTeam, premium economy awards are available, but unfortunately none of the search engines of KLM or Delta seem to be able to pick up that there is availability in them cabins, which unfortunately is something that this process can't really resolve. When you're wishing to book Singapore Airlines, Air New Zealand, ANA or South African awards, you cannot go to Virgin's website to find availability. Instead, I recommend you head across to aircanada.com. While there are alternatives, notably a lot of people like using United's website, I generally find that Air Canada's website is one of the most reliable search engines for Star Alliance partners of Virgin Atlantic and one of the easiest to use in terms of UI. If we head into Air Canada's website, what we need to do is click one way and then book with points. Again, we're not going to book through Air Canada, we're looking for availability. So we're going to try Frankfurt, Tokyo, Haneda. And again, I'll do about a year out to try and confirm availability for one adult. So once we're into the search engine, we can start to see all the flights from Frankfurt to Tokyo, Haneda. Now, the nice thing I like about Air Canada's website is the ability to select the airlines, so I'll just go on ANA, and I can see here the direct service from Frankfurt to Tokyo. I can see how many seats are available, and this is what will be available through Virgin. Ignore any options which have non-Virgin aligned partners, so this one is partially operated by Asiana from Frankfurt to Seoul, which we cannot book. But for example, you could possibly book Frankfurt to Singapore, then Singapore to Tokyo on a combination of Singapore and ANA if you put them as two separate awards, which is good to know. Just a few caveats. Award space on all of these partners is pretty limited, unfortunately. For Singapore Airlines and ANA, you'll often find economy award space, but little else. Business and first class can be found on ANA as I did from Haneda to London earlier this year, but it is increasingly rare to find anything through ANA partner airlines and not just Virgin. 
And unfortunately, Singapore Airlines is even worse by design. While economy is available, no business is available for award redemption via Virgin to North America or Europe, even if it is available on Air Canada's website. This is just a limitation of the Virgin Singapore Airlines partnership. If you are starting within Europe, Istanbul technically falls under the Middle East award space category with Virgin's frequent flyer program. So if you are able to find award space from Istanbul to Singapore, you could fly from anywhere in Europe to Istanbul and then fly onwards from there in business class. This will require you to position, but equally you will save a few Virgin points because you are originating in the Middle East region and not within Europe. And on Singapore Airlines, it is worth noting that first class redemptions are more or less unavailable to all Singapore airline partners and not just Virgin Atlantic because it is so exclusive. After you've completed your searches on all of these sites, regardless of if it's SkyTeam or non-SkyTeam partners, take a note of the route, for example, FRA to HND for Frankfurt to Tokyo, the flight number, which could be something like NH211, and the date of the flight you found, just so that when you go to book it, you know exactly what you're going to do. Finally, Hawaiian Airlines and Virgin Australia are outliers in that it is not easy to check for availability because of a lack of IT integration with Virgin Atlantic. On this one, it is generally best to contact Virgin Atlantic's call centre or live chat service in order to check space available to flying club members. Firstly, all Virgin Awards are charged per sector, not for the total mileage. If we look at the award chart for SkyTeam partners specifically, we'll see it is by mileage banding. So if you had one flight that was 501 miles long and a second connecting flight was 499 miles long, you wouldn't pay for the price of 1,000 miles, i.e. 7,000 Virgin points in economy. You would pay 7,000 for the first leg and then 5,500 for the second leg, which is quite a hefty increase. Secondly, you can only book single ticket connecting itineraries on the website, whether that is on single or multiple airlines. This wouldn't be a problem, but it is very difficult to map availability on the website for any of Virgin Atlantic's partners. So currently, for SkyTeam Awards, the tickets will be separate, which technically means if you miss your connecting flight, especially with a partner, you will be a bit screwed because you will have no connection protections like a single ticket itinerary. This will hopefully become a non-issue in the near future while systems are integrated between Virgin Atlantic and their SkyTeam partners, particularly as I have booked both connecting itineraries on ANA and Singapore Airlines over the phone or on live chat. While you may luck out and find some award partners on Virgin Atlantic's website, I've generally only found Virgin and Delta flights on there. Even if you can find them, some like Air France just won't transact and book, which is incredibly frustrating when you've gone through the process to find it. And this is why we have gone to the trouble of going on Air Canada, KLM or Delta's website to find availability with partner airlines. So actually going to book, we've got two options. The first is just to phone up uh, Virgin Atlantic Flying Club on the relevant number and book over the phone and get through to a very helpful and friendly member of their team. And generally, I found Virgin's customer service to actually be really excellent when doing this, although wait times can be quite lengthy and you could be on hold for a certain period of time. My preferred option actually is to go on the Virgin Atlantic website and use their live chat facility. Technically, this should only be available to those who have an existing booking, but it is accessible to everybody with a small workaround on your PC or Mac. So first of all, what we need to do is go to the My Booking page on Virgin Atlantic's website. So once we're in My Booking, we need to use DevTools, which can be accessed by clicking F12 on your keyboard and opening DevTools. Then we go on this inspect element button here and then we delete this section of the page and then you will see this lovely chat to us button which opens up a live chat session. 
do not worry about this, this won't cause problems, and if you refresh it, that section will come straight back again, including with the chat window. So in order to go ahead and book, we can go speak to an agent. And yes, I want to speak with an advisor. And then sometimes you will get a message like this. Once you're through to somebody, hand over the details you noted down earlier of the airline, the flight number, route, date, and importantly, number of passengers. They will probably ask a few questions like the names of the passengers. And this just makes it a lot more easy and focused for the agent to look for the flight that you're looking for rather than being very vague. If this doesn't work, then do be kind to them and huaka or hang up and call or in this case, chat again. Sometimes customer service agents aren't always trained to do the partner service awards. So it might be a case of just contacting again, whether on the phone or over chat to look for availability and see if you can they can find it again for you. If after the second attempt there's nothing, it's quite possible that Virgin doesn't have access to that award space you might have found. If you are looking to save some time for yourself going on lots of different websites, you could go straight to the live chat service and just say to them, I'm looking for an award seat between Taipei and Prague between this date and this date one way for this number of passengers and they can do it for you. But I've found generally it can take a long time for them to look for it and you often wonder where have they gone. It could make it a bit easier for you, but I have a preference to do the legwork myself beforehand. Once they've found it, the agent will confirm the price for you in both Virgin points and taxes. And then once you've confirmed you want to proceed, they will send you a form to fill out your credit card details to then make payment for the service. Finally, they will then give you a Virgin confirmation code and you will receive an email within about 24 to 48 hours on some partners or hopefully instantly. And it's worth asking if they also have a partner airline code as well, because quite often the airline code between Virgin system and the partner airline system have different references. And that's it. You're booked on a partner airline flight through Flying Club. It's not quite the simplicity it could be, but we're on the way there. And fingers crossed very soon, we will see online availability of flights on Flying Club's website. So just a little bit on my own successes of booking award flights through Flying Club. I have booked a number of times using Virgin Points. So the first being ANA from Tokyo to London uh, in January this year. I booked it around April last year, so before Japan had opened up. And it was actually quite easy to do. I was on live chat at the time, got the flight booked. And then my second one was just a few weeks ago, which I haven't actually taken the flight for yet. Is China Airlines later this year in premium economy. They were able to find availability through the live chat function and we booked it very quickly. While I suspect that non-Sky Team partners will never fully go online, I do think the Sky Team partners will be available to book online in the near future, fingers crossed. And also this is my time to advise you if you do have Virgin Points and you would like to fly ANA or Singapore Airlines in the near future, book it sooner rather than later. There is a chance that Virgin could decide to end the partnership in favour of their Sky Team partners. They've made no indication of this yet, but it's always a risk. Do keep up to date with my channel by liking this video, subscribing and clicking the notifications bell. I publish articles on calamelson.com twice per week and I will be trying to do more videos like this and flight reviews from across the globe as much as possible in the near future. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please go into the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And I will all catch you very soon. Goodbye.